Rock Dove by Elisa J. Golden. A marble rolled across the floor. It stopped at a raised board, just short of the oval rug where she was sitting. It's not level, he said, tilting his head. Your floor isn't level. He put his cheek to the polished wood. Have you had this place inspected yet? She was still, and still she stared out the window. Originally, Mother's Day was a peace holiday. I read that. He took another marble out of the bowl and looked through it at her, rolling it in between his fingers like a cigar. She rubbed her neck with one hand and with the other pulled out the tassels from the pillow. I thought once I would plant a garden here. Do you think the next people would want a garden? You don't like cut flowers, do you? He put the marble back in the bowl next to the silk irises. Do you dust these? Of course, you must. Or maybe you just buy new ones. That's what everyone does these days. Just buys new ones. Maybe they even keep the receipt and exchange them. Could you do that with other things? Oh, doctor, I can't take this one home. I wanted a girl. Did you want a girl? She untwisted the tassels and lined them up on the rug. You're afraid of cut flowers because they're so pretty. He put his hand back in the bowl and swished it around. You're afraid when they die because you know they will die. The irises fell over. One dropped out. Two marbles followed and rolled across the floor. On the windowsill outside on the ledge, next to a pigeon, lay a piece of pale yellow chalk. She could see it through the window. She could see its reflection. The walls were still a pale yellow. The ceiling was white, as if she hadn't finished coloring it in. He once drew on the sidewalk. He once drew on the oiled oak table. He once brought her a bird to make well, and then another, and just one more. Several died first. He had cut out pictures in their shapes from newspapers and wrapped them in the rest. At the window she stood, she unlocked it, then she opened it and reached through a hole in the screen. She took the chalk in her palm. It could leave only dust as a reminder. When she held the chalk against the floor and touched it gently to the wood, and then more firmly, it broke, but left a mark. She noticed a marble close by and drew a box around it. Then she wrote save in big letters, as if a janitor would come and erase it by mistake. He got up suddenly with his hand still in the bowl and knocked the entire contents onto the floor. The marbles rolled in all directions like a good shot at billiards. Why didn't you tell me? Why did my letters come back? He hovered over her, motionless, still. She reached for his arm and pressed the chalk into his hand. Never mind the fuss of linocuts walking on Mexican bark paper or the inherited wood type. Never mind sans serif roosting on ang heavyweight. You got book insurance? Bird mom doesn't eat her young. That sandwich looks just fine, though. Next time, no mayo.